Hi guys, it's Jennifer here, and I'm about to play Mobius Empire Rising. This game is, it just came out yesterday, and it's made by the creator of Gabriel Knight, and anyone that is into uh, point and click adventures from the past will know who I'm talking about. She's like, famous for these kind of games. So this is her new one. She wrote and directed it. And there's been a lot of hype in the adventure game community about this, so I got it, and I'm going to play it. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm not um, exactly sure what it's about, but I know I like these kind of games, so we're just going to play it by ear. And see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start, and I know that there is an intro that is like all the credits and stuff. And I'm going to play it through because the song, the intro song, is really cool. Um, I really like it. So let's, let's enjoy it. Wasn't that song awesome? Oh my god, I totally want it. And you know what? I got the soundtrack to the game when I bought the game, and so I can probably guess that it's on there. I haven't checked yet, but that's what I'm guessing. Okay, so let's start. Chapter one in your hands, that's what it said.
Malachi, you're back. Just landed. Are you all right? What did the doctor say? Lots of bruising, but there's no permanent damage. Don't fuss. Malachi, you were in the hospital in Spain for a week. A man who evaluates antiques for a living should not have to worry about getting beaten by thugs. The chest Senor Perez was trying to sell was a fake. It's hardly my fault he took my evaluation badly. You need to take security on these jobs. Some of these sellers are dangerous people, and you excel at pushing people's buttons. I'm honest, and that's precisely why my clients hire me. Is there any urgent business? I have a few things to fill you in on. Let me know when you've had a chance to settle in. Okay. How to play, move the cursor, talk, blah, blah, blah. Pretty standard stuff, I think. Inventory. Magnifying glass, in game menu bar, blah, da, 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 da. Phone. Map. Hotspots. Spacebar. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do one thing here. For the audio, I'm going to turn the music down. Oh, it's already down a bit. Because it's a lot louder than, uh, than the rest of it. It's, yeah. Okay. So, oops, exit. We don't want to do that. Not yet. All right. So I know if you look around, you can look at all a the different things. A gilded Jerome figurine, quite rare. All of our items are one of a kind and in excellent condition. I do have a reputation to maintain. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff. I have a sneaking suspicion Gretchen keeps gold and bronze objects behind her because of the way they bring out her hair. <laughs> the objects in those security boxes are especially valuable. Gretchen gets them down if a serious buyer is interested. Alright, so all this stuff you can click on and it'll say something about it. Sometimes our customers bring in items for my appraisal. They're kept tucked away behind the screen so no one tries to buy them. Uh, what's behind there? Is there anything in the alcove that urgently needs my appraisal? Not at the moment, no. Okay. We're right on 7th Avenue. Excellent visibility and good foot traffic. But most of the walk-ins take one look at the price tags and quietly leave. Hmm. Fortunately, most of our business comes from private clients. My suitcase. I can't forget I have my passport in the pocket. Let's get it. Whoa. He's kind of walking like he has uh, something up his bum. I'll take my passport with me. <laughs> like he's got a rod up his ass. No offense, it just kind of looks funny. Okay, let's see. In case I have visitors, as unlikely as that may be. Aww. The couch is for the rare times I have a client visit me here. No, thank you. Uh. Dogon masks from Molly. I've always liked the sense of isolation in that painting. Yeah, I do too. That looks pretty. I find it best to have my clients associate me with interesting but unusual finds. The artwork is all chosen for that purpose, and I change it every few months. Cool. I keep some of my favorite objects in my office. That doesn't mean I wouldn't part with them for the right price. The desk looks good and is functional, but it doesn't have a particularly interesting history. What's at the desk? Hmm, what's this? It's a letter from Mr. Barosi, an antique dealer in Venice. He has a brilliant eye for interesting pieces. He's a little quaint. He insists on sending snail mail. Mm -hmm. Dear Mr. Rector, I hope this letter finds you and your shop in good health and good fortune. Recently, a unique figurine has come into my hands, which I think will be of interest to you. Though I am not certain of its origins, I believe it may be Celtic. I hope you are able to come by the next time you are in Venice to take a look. I'll keep it set aside for the time being. Sincerely, Giuseppe Barosi. Interesting. The 
public economy seems to be all the newspapers can talk about these days. Right, right, right. Stock market, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. He's taking pills? Doesn't need any water for that? Okay, he's like, house from house. <laughs> Whoa, see that? He, he kind of did a slidey thing there. Let's, let's, let's look at her. Gretchen Stern, my shop manager. She's efficient and intelligent, very good at what she does. Unfortunately, she can act overly familiar at times. I don't need mothering, or girlfriending, or any ing for that matter. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> what was the big lunge? <laughs> we should catch up on what's been going on while I was away. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what's the next assignment? You just got here. You probably haven't even been to your penthouse yet. That wasn't the question. <sighs> Fine. There's a supposedly undiscovered Rembrandt in Rome for Sotheby's, and two pieces in Egypt for Rutherford's. Take them both. Malachi, you just got out of the hospital. You should let your body rest, at least long enough to get used to a time zone. With the economy in the gutter, there are a lot of desperate people right now. Desperate enough to sell Grandma's Harrington or create a good forgery. I might as well make the money while I can. You're driving yourself too hard. Your body needs... What my body needs is no concern of yours. Uh, no. Thanks for reminding me. There was also a new client who called. Something about a government contract. <clears throat> He's very stern looking, isn't he? Who is this new client? Amble Dexter, 452 Central Park West. He wouldn't say what it was about, just that he needed someone with your expertise. If he wouldn't even say what it's about, then it's not worth my time following up. Well, it is a very upscale address, but do as you please. You said in your email that you've been looking into security options? I made a list of the reputable security agencies in New York. You should have a bodyguard travel with you. With the money you earn on these assignments, you can afford it. No, they'd only get in the way and be tiresome. I prefer to travel alone. Fine. There are other options. What other options do you have for security? I've been researching security agencies in various international cities. I can set someone up when you travel, have them meet you at the airport. I can't trust someone I've just met. How could I be sure they weren't already bought off? These are reputable agencies. You have to get over your trust issues. Hmm. No other brilliant ideas about security? I have a report on where to buy guns in various countries. It's not a very good option, but it's better than going into a bad situation unarmed. And maybe the mere presence of a gun will remind you not to shoot off your mouth. Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give your fascinating opinion quite so freely. All right. Maybe we'll try that next time. That's all for now. Very well. All right. Well, let's... Wasn't there something in here? Professor Reed. I don't need to call him right now. I don't need to text him right now. What's this? Amble Dexter, searching the web. Nothing. That's extremely odd. It's an unusual name, but there's information on everyone on the internet. Hmm. Unless it was intentionally scrubbed. Very strange, isn't that? Ooh. I see you're in Manhattan. Please come by at your earliest convenience. How did he so. know I was in Manhattan? And how did he get my cell phone number? I'll make it worth your while. 452 Central Park West, where you send present passport to security. <sighs> I don't need to call him right now. Why not? I don't need to text him right now. Why can't we call and say, what the hell? How'd you know my digits? Um, okay, well, you know what? Let's... Um, I'm gonna end the video here, I think, because, uh, the intro is pretty long. 
I'm going to go see Mr. Dexter. Good. But tell him you can't travel anywhere for a few weeks. I'll do nothing of the sort. Good luck. Yeah, the intro was pretty long with the song and that, as so I'm going to end it here and then we'll go and see Mr. Dexter in the next video. So, so far I'm liking how this game looks. It's pretty standard and uh, he's kind of an interesting character. So, I will let, uh, let's let uh, catch up with the next episode. Um, hopefully you guys will leave a like if you like the video and comment and subscribe to my channel keep up to date with my videos etc all right talk to you guys later see you soon bye bye